What's going on? I'm here with UFC lightweight Drakkar Close. He's fighting Joe Selecki on Saturday at UFC Austin. So what's interesting about this card, I think, from your perspective, is two guys uh, pretty high up on the card. You've actually fought before in Dariush and um, <clears throat> Bobby Green. What a what kind of does that create any tension during fight week or anything like that when there's two guys on the card you've been in there with? Uh, not at all. You know what I mean. Uh, one I beat, one I lost to. So you know what I mean. Can't really uh, you know say much to one of the guys, but you know I got I got some bragging rights over one of the guys. So yeah, for sure. So for you, this is going to be your first fight uh, in a little over a year and a half. I know, you know, a lot of fans, you're one of the most exciting guys in the division. So we love seeing you in there. Um, what was the reason behind that a uh, little bit of the layoff there? Uh, I had, uh, I was getting ready for Mark Madsen in uh, October and I had torn my ACL. Uh, so I had to get that repaired and um, just do, doing rehab. So uh, now I'm healthy and I'm ready to get back in there. Gotcha. Knowing that it's an ACL, that is a, that's a pretty speedy recovery. What was the process to get back like for you? Um, you know, just a lot of therapy, um, uh, a lot of manual work, um, uh, just, just a lot of recovery, just, you know, taking my time and not trying to rush things to get back. You know, um, a lot of people try to rush, rush and come back and, and re tear it. Uh, I just want to make sure it was a hundred percent before I step back in the octagon. Yeah, that's very smart. You you also had a, a little bit over a two year layoff in between your Daryush and your Jenkins fights, but after that, you won two in a row. So, is there any part of you that thinks that obviously you know you're a competitive guy, you don't want to be taking that much time off? But is there part of you that says that it could be beneficial? Uh, of course, you know what I mean. The the two layer that two year layoff was because you know I had fights scheduled, but it one was because Jeremy Stevens dumbass, and then um. You know, that whole little ordeal. Uh, but, you know, other than that, uh, it's just these little stupid little injuries that I get. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. So in this one, we're very happy to see you back fighting Joe Selecki. He's a BJJ uh, black belt, really known for his grappling. You kind of the opposite, known for your striking, your classic striker versus grappling matchup. Obviously, you're prepared to go to the ground, but is there any part of you that's going to be kind of trying to push the action on the ground or are you going to try to keep this on the feet as much as possible? Uh, definitely keep it on the feet. I think this the fight is a lot easier to train for because he doesn't like to strike. So all I have to do is, you know what I mean? If he wants to go slow, I'm going to go slow. You know what I mean? Make him want to fight me. Uh, when he does shoot, stuff his takedowns and, you know, just make him fight me. Yeah, so you say he doesn't like to strike. Is there something you're seeing, watching his past fights that's really standing out to you that leads you to that conclusion? Uh, be honest, I couldn't make it through watching none of his fights because he's so boring. Um, but when I looked at some of his stats, you know, and I, I think what he has six UFC fights. He only has like a total of 300 strikes thrown or something like that. So he doesn't throw many punches. You know, everything's – if he throws punches, it's for a takedown. So, um, so that's, you know, he, he doesn't throw much. Right. So let me ask you, when you're a guy, you know, you, you like to stand and bang, you're looking for $50,000 bonuses. When you're fighting someone who you deem to be boring, what do you do to try to make the fight as entertaining as possible? Uh, just, uh, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't want to make it boring, you know, but I don't want to go out there and, do too much and get myself in a bad situation. Um, I just know when I do throw punches, I got to make him pay for it. And when he does shoot, you know, you know, uh, sprawl on him and, you know, make him not want to shoot. Absolutely. So you've been in the UFC since 2017. You're seven and two. You have wins over guys like Bobby Green, Lando Venata, bigger names. Um, so where do you think a win? You're just outside the top 15 right now, I'd assume. So, where do you think a win puts you in the grand scheme of the division? Uh, hopefully, you know, I wanted to call out Jalen Turner after this fight. I uh, still am. Hopefully he wins, beats Bobby or Bobby, you know, whatever. But, uh, you know, that's where I really wanted to fight after this fight. But, you know, I have to worry about Joe. But, you know, for me, I got to stay healthy. Um, you know, every time I get the ball rolling, I get injured. And, you know, and if you're not fighting, people forget about you. Right. That's kind of crazy luck that the guy you're looking 
to call out, just steps right in on the card. What was it about Jalen Turner that uh, you made you want to call him out? Uh, I don't think he deserves to be in the top 15. You know what I mean? Uh, if if that's the case, I'm going to go for the easiest guy in the top 15. Why don't you think he deserves to be in the top 15? Who has he beat? That does, You know what I mean? Who has he beat? He does, doesn't deserve to be there. Right. So on this note, kind of, there's a ton of, like, ranked lightweight fights on this card. Guy you beat, Bobby Green, a guy who you just said don't deserve to be in the top 15, Jalen Turner, a guy you fought, Dariush, and then there's Sarukian. So going into fight week, are you kind of mentally ready to step in and fight any of those guys if something happens? Yeah, definitely. Like, I, I wanted to fight Bobby Green this week, and I'm down to fight Joe and Bobby. You know, I would have did both. You know, let me be the first fight at night, and then let me be co-main event. I think uh, I think we'd all really, really like to see that. Thank you, man, for your time. This is really awesome. Last question I got to ask, what is your prediction for this fight? How's it going to go down? Uh, I, I predict a second-round TKO. Second-round TKO. All right, thank you, Jakar. This is awesome. Hell yeah, thank you. You have a great day. You too.